Oh my goodness, that's the stuff. Has everyone got their eggnog, everyone got their peppermint mocha, whatever you want to get, make sure you get it. It's the Christmas morning special where Ando unboxes all of his presents a little bit before Christmas morning. I don't know, if you guys are anything like me, you cannot wait till Christmas morning to open up all your presents and I managed to get all of these bad boys early. So I thought, you know what, it's the month of December. It's basically Christmas. And I thought I would unbox all of my uh, Christmas presents I have here. I actually got another one for myself. I'm keen to show you guys in today's video. But today's video is actually sponsored by Jazzwares. And they said, Ando, the reason we're sponsoring today's video is because we want you to open up our present first. And I was like, okay, let's, let's be real. This bad boy, it's the biggest one out of all the presents we're opening today. And it looks like massive. Look at that bad boy, bigger than my face. And... Sounds like there's something hefty inside as well. So let's open it up and uh, see what we got for Christmas. I don't know, I, I'm so excited. My favorite part about Christmas, is, as bad as it sounds, it's the present opening. Oh snap, yep, these are all Pokemon presents. And look at that, the very first thing on the box. Oh, yo, I know exactly what this is. Look at this bad boy. It is none other than, it, it looks to be like a Mewtwo Deluxe, I don't know, figurine? Yo, this is like the ultimate Pokemon like collectible figure right here. Check this thing out, he looks massive. And you know what's even crazier is I think, oh, there's a, oh gosh, yep, look, there's a door and you open it this way. Can you guys see, is it in there, is it in there? Oh, whoa, what the flip, it's massive. Look how, that is so, that is ridiculous quality right there. Oh my goodness, and I think it looks like it lights up as well, but look at all this. The detail on the quality of box. I'm low-key, I don't even want to get it out of the packaging. Yo, this is crazy, it's so big. I don't know, I love like the neon sort of vibes on the uh, front of the box right here. But let's unbox this bad boy, he looks so epic. Apparently this is one tenth of the actual size of Mewtwo. So if we like put this on the ground and you put ten, like stacked on top of each other, that's how big a real life Mewtwo would be. All right, let's open up the uh, the door of this bad boy and see what's inside oh, of this massive. Holy smokes. This is so big, look how much packaging is inside. Like, you know it's rigid. This figurine is literally the first of its kind. Like, they've never made something so deluxe and so ridiculous before. But ladies and gentlemen, we're debuting it on Unlisted Leaf right now. This is like one of those classic presents where you definitely need scissors. On Christmas Day, I always had like standby pair of scissors Christmas morning just to make sure if I got any presents like this, I was ready to go. Oh my goodness, look at him. Holy smokes, that thing is crazy. I really hope I'm doing a couple of really good B-roll shots right now, Ando. Um, do properly show it off. Apparently when you have batteries in it, you press the Pokeball, it lights up. So I think the next step, let's pop some batteries in this bad boy and see how it looks. But there is so much detail and so much craziness going on here. It's like a legit scene out the anime, for sure. Okay, let me get batteries in it. Ladies and gentlemen, the batteries have been put into this bad boy, and when we press the pokeball right here, apparently it's gonna light up. Apparently some sort of lighting show is gonna take place. So without further ado, is everybody ready? Let's see what this deluxe Mewtwo figure does when we press the pokeball at the bottom of the base. Oh! Guys, I am telling you right now, the Psychic Legendary has never looked as awesome as this. But real talk guys, this is honestly the best thing for any Pokemon fan because let's be honest, the size and material, like the detail they've put into this is unreal. I've personally never seen something like it and I think it's because it's the first of its kind but I absolutely love this. He's literally hovering above the Pokeball or above like this area which is all like, look at this, it's all levitating and then when you press the Pokeball in, boom! It all lights up which is so sick and then it like glows. Really cool and then the back as well. Like they didn't skimp on the back. It's all super detailed with hanging like, you know, debris and everything right here. I don't know what it is. It's like ruins or something. That is actually really, really sick. And I'm so keen to put it in my collection room. Like this is such a perfect addition. Um, and this is why I love Christmas presents like this. What do you guys think of the Mewtwo figure right here? I think low key, we'll just leave it under the tree right now. And Mewtwo can do its thing. But that is a fantastic gift. Thank you so much Jazzwares for sponsoring today's video and sending over the Mewtwo present. I love it. Now, my girlfriend actually wrapped all of these presents for me for today's video. So I, again, I don't know what's inside of this bad boy, but it has got the same wrapping paper. So we'll find out who it's from when I unbox it. I think this is from 
I think I got another one from Collectible Madness, who uh, runs the Pokemon store online. So all the Pokemon cups. Yes! No way! This is this is the box I wanted, and it's sold out here in Australia, so I'm so happy to get it. It's literally the Small But Mighty Premium Collection, and I know what you're thinking, and why the heck would you want that for Christmas? Okay, this is great, because let me just give you a close-up of all of the booster packs that are in this thing. I'm talking Burning Shadows, two of them, Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash, Sun and Moon, Darkness Ablaze again. There's even a Steam Siege at the back, but like, let's be honest, it's hilarious at this point that they're putting Steam Siege in this product. I think they're well aware what they're doing, Pokemon. But that is just... Guys! Let's open it in today's video. Let's literally, we're gonna crack this open in a sec. I'm so curious as to what we get out of there, but... It would just be the best Christmas special if we got a uh, Rainbow Rare Charizard in this bad boy. Thank you so much, Collectible Madness. That's exactly what I wanted. So now we're gonna Mewtwo figure. We're gonna Pokemon box. But then I think there's three more, but apparently I can keep them sealed because it's like an art set. Oh, dude, collectibles like spoiling me. So next up, we get like a silver present. Let's find out what's inside of this bad boy. Oh, it's a tin. Oh, I know what he means by art set now. Hopefully it's all three of them. So we got the Eevee right here. I love the promo card on this Eevee tin, by the way. It's like that weird cross-section of CGI and uh, hand-drawn artwork on the card. If you guys want me to open up these tins in another video, let me know down below. This video gets 10k likes. Easy. Tomorrow we'll open up the tins as well. Is this... Yes! I knew it, I knew it. Literally, they were the perfect size for it. And as soon as he said art set, I had a rough idea. Oh my goodness, these are all products that I missed out on. This is so funny, Collectibles like looked at my videos and he's gone, Ando still hasn't opened any of that. It must be tough to get. Let me go hook him up. And then we've also got this last one, which I'm guessing if it's the art set, it should be the Eternatus tin. So we got Pikachu. And then, is it gonna be Eternatus? Yes! Yo, look at this! No way. The, I gotta say, the promos are so strange in these tins. It's the weirdest thing ever. I love it though, I love the embossed tins. Oh my goodness, guys, I can't even make this up right now, but I was packing everything up, ready to go unbox the Small But Mighty collection upstairs. But I literally got to ring at the doorbell and a Christmas present from none other than Crystal Collects actually came in the mail. And if you don't know who Crystal Collects is, definitely give her a follow. Like, she's honestly the most positive and uh, really inspirational collector ever. She collects all sorts of stuff that's not English, but it's Pokemon card related. And I found her page because she makes the most incredible custom binders. She draws them by hand and just does it for the fun of it. So I sent her a message. I'm like, is there any way I can purchase myself one of your binders? And then dude, she sent in a flipping Christmas present. Yo, look how colorful it is. You can see it. There's a note there. So let's read the note out. All right, so on the note right here, it says, Dear Ando, thank you so much for being an inspiring and positive influence in the Pokemon community. No worries at all. Thank you so much for the kind words. I know you love and live Pikachu. That is true. So much that I created a Pikachu Madness Binder, especially one-off just for you. I hope it serves you well in your Pokemon card collecting. P.S. Congrats again on hitting 2 million subscribers. Crystal Collects. Thank you so much, Crystal. You're not wrong. I do literally live and breathe Pikachu. There is a Pikachu bed that's just like permanently in my bedroom. But anyway, this right here apparently is a Pikachu-inspired custom binder. And there are cards inside as well. No way! Look at it! Oh! It's all of the... Can you see that? It's literally all of the different promo Pikachus over the years. So you've got like the Mario Pikachu. You've got like the uh, Gigantamax Chonky Chu himself. That's going to go really well for the back. That's when that Pokemon Center opened. They did the Graffiti Pikachu cards. It's even got the Scary Pikachu. Oh! That's me! On this to the leaf right there. It says... Keep on gaming. This is like my official, I don't know, what is it, custom binder? I, I'm literally lost for words. Unlisted leaf on the side. So I can store all of my Pikachu cards inside. Hopefully I'm showing you a B-roll shot right here. But we've got all sorts of different language Pikachus. Which is so perfect for the uh, first page inside. And on the back, oh my goodness. It's a whole stack of different NGs from different countries as well. There's also a map that uh, decodes what language these are all from. I love it. Crystal, thank you so much for your present. I thought it was just, I don't know, such good timing that it arrived today when I was filming my present unboxing. Ah, uh, that means the absolute world. Because it's just like a one-off cool thing. 
All right, now let's go and pull some stuff out of this small but mighty collection and put it in the binder. Alrighty guys, is everybody sitting down? Is everybody ready for me to open up the small but mighty premium collection box right here? I honestly believe this might be the contender for 2020's box of the year. It not only contains 10 of the best boosters, Burning Shadows, Darkness of Blaze, Base Set, Sword and Shield, but then it like sort of all just centers around one of the most best looking promo cards we've seen all year. And like a keychain, a coin, a pin, it doesn't stop. So let's open this bad boy up. It's absolutely massive. Doesn't even fit on the unboxing table. Like that, 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 that's as much as we're getting. So yeah, let's get the uh, 10 boosters out of this bad boy and get to opening. Hopefully, if we get a Rainbow Rare Charizard, we're just, we're jumping out this window right here. It would make my year. Now guys, you know what? The amount of stuff you actually get in here is ridiculous. So we're gonna start off with one of the best looking promo cards, which is so fitting for one of the best boxes. All of these Pokeballs, like how good is this? Master Ball, Regular Ball, Dive Ball. Can you name all the Pokeballs in here? But then there's Togepi, Cleffa, and Igglybuff. All looking so cute on this triple tag team card right here. Oh gosh, that looks so good. I love that the berries are like located in there as well. I don't know, so much color. I want this in the PSA 10. I don't know if I'll grade this one though, it's a little bit miscut. Um, but hopefully you guys like it as much as me. I love that promo. Then, you know what? Merry Christmas, you guys can have the code card. It is a bit of a Christmas special. Then we've got this really cool pin. Mom's gonna love that one. Mom loves collecting the uh, Pokemon pins. Then we've got the limited edition coin. Bit of a uh, rave cave situation right here. And then, I don't know where you'd put this. Maybe on your keychains. Maybe I should put this on my Audi R8 keys. Uh, you imagine getting out the Audi R8 keys at the coffee shop and this bad boy's on there? I'd just be the coolest kid in school. So we've got all three of those. Get the promo card. And then you also get 10 boosters. I kid you not. Since when does a pink big box come with 10 booster packs? Has to be like one of the first of its kind. And you know what the first booster is? Everybody say it with me. The best set on the planet. It's, it's Steam Siege. So we're just going to give it a go. Um, I think it's just a meme at this point that, I don't know, the Pokemon company... Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm so surprised. This has really just taken me so so off guard. Uh, three from the back because there's not that many cards in Steam Siege. But I love that the Pokemon company is just really forcing this booster and set upon everybody. Like, you know what? It, it's, it's so bad that you guys are forced to know how- like, what the flip? We doubled up on a Fletchling, we got a regular solid green, and it's a Weavile, regular rare. So that's their, like, little kick in the gonads, just to like, I don't know, so you're nice and injured. But then you can go into opening the fun stuff with a white and green on Darkness Ablaze. So let's do this bad boy. So many epic cards throughout every single one of these sets we're about to open. So we're just going to hope for the best. I don't really have any like predictions to what we could possibly get, what the ratio is. We're going to find that out today. We're going to goal it. A Pansay Traverse. And already a Eternatus V card off the second booster. That's actually really good. Like I think so many people look past this card because it's just a regular V. But it's Eternatus. One of the most legendary legendaries ever. Dynamax Cannon and Power Accelerator. Oh boys. Already? Gorgeous looking full art promo. Then we go and get the Eternatus V card. And let's open up the Rebel Clash. Now Rebel Clash has always been a set for me that I really want the uh, gold cards out of. But you know what? We haven't actually opened this in a while. So I think I'll just take whatever. Got a Phalanx, Masquerain, then a Snova, Natu, Shrubbish, got a Pit of, Reverse Clefairy, and the Bomber Snow. Regular rare. That's all right. If anything's gonna give us anything, I'm praying it's the Burning Shadows. But the best part about this box, why I love it and would recommend it to everyone, you don't just get one Burning Shadows. You get two chances of that ridiculous Charizard. The Rainbow Red Charizard in here not only sells for a couple thousand dollars, but it's the one Charizard chase card that I haven't ever pulled on the channel. Is it four? I think it's four. I haven't opened this set in ages. But it's the one Charizard I still go for. It's just like, it's the hardest one to get. The ratios are so bad. If you open up a box, you're only guaranteed one full lot in a whole booster box of English Burning Shadows. Oh, it's a regular rare, but that's okay. We've got one more shot. It hurts a little bit. I would have hoped like, you know, Christmas box, maybe a bit of Christmas luck. I don't think the Pokemon Center is that nice, but we'll see how we go. 
There's the code card. Maybe you guys get in the Christmas lock in the codes. If you get a Charizard, pray. Like, just promise me right now. You're going to tweet me. You're going to Instagram me. Got to NK, PewDiePie. Got to Tangela. Hoot, hoot. Then we've got none other than Hoxacroak. So, so far, he turned his fee and a promo card. Now we're going to base it Sun and Moon. Actually, a big fan favorite. I reckon when this came out, not too many people were a fan of it. But I've actually seen the uh, booster box price of this go slowly up and up and up. So if you guys like this, definitely let me know. Maybe we're going to open up a booster box of base set, Sun and Moon. Got Litlin, Cosmog, Rare Candy Reverse, and a Golduck as the regular rare. Cool artwork on the Golduck. Okay, we're back to Darkness Ablaze. And then we've got a base set, Sword and Shield. What a fantastic cross-section. Like, who thought of this box and why is it such a weird cross-section? Got a Clang, Dartrix. But this is why I wonder. I knew as soon as I saw the boost back selection, I was like, oh my, if I can get this box, that's all I really want to open up on the channel. Fletchling, got a Bantic Reverse, and it's Halon Flame as the regular rare. Third to last pack, it's a Sword and Shield. Come on, guys. There is 10 packs in here. Basically, one third of a booster box. Like, isn't that a perfect Christmas present? One third of a booster box in a promo collection. Um, and then you also get a guaranteed fuller card. It sounds pretty good to me. Corvix Sire, got a Lion Noon, got a Mooner as well, a Zigzagoon, classic Snom. Then we get Shelter, and a Roserade regular rare, second to last booster. And it's, oh gosh, it's the set that hurts just not quite as much as a Steam Siege. It's Crimson Invasion. Y'all ready? Let's do this. Y'all ready for this? Oh wow, what a surprise. Everyone shocked? Everyone falling off their chair? I know I am. Wow. Solid green. That took me by surprise. Okay, so we're going to Darkness. Kakuna, Excelagor, Diggersby. Then we're going to Pumpkaboo, Stoffel, Geodude. I love the artwork though. For a set that gets a lot of hate, this artwork's actually pretty dope. Primeape. There's an exhibition on in Japan where the artist that makes all of these 3D models is having like a whole museum display. The one time I can't travel to Japan, that sounds so cool. Now, this is the final pack. Come on, it's Christmas, it's December, surely we can get something on the final Sun and Moon booster. If not, it's okay. Let's open this bad boy up. But, I don't know, it'd be interesting. Getting two good pulls out of the 10 packs, but they're really good packs though. Unlisted Leaf is always a fantastic sign. Got a Dartrix, Bon Sweet, Psyduck, Litlin, Cosmog, Frog and Roller, Pinsa Reverse. And a Butterfree regular rare. Let me know in the comments though, if you were to make your dream Pokemon card like collection box, what would it consist of? Let me know like what boosters you'd put in there. You get 10, okay? 10 options. Now on the uh, recap, let's just do it right here. Got Eternatus V and the promo card, but we also got the absolutely epic looking Jazzwares Mewtwo Deluxe figurine right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's present opening video. What do you think of my present I bought for myself? It's just the coolest bit of art ever. And what do you guys want for Christmas? Let me know down below. Always love hearing about it. It's my favorite time of year. Have a fantastic day and keep on gaming. Till the next video, I'll see you then.